this is Dave Wakerley, a young, talented, highly motivated chemist. Yep, that's all very true. And I'm also working on a stop-motion Lego film about the research in our lab. And this is not just any old lab in a basement somewhere. Dave is a researcher in Cambridge, home to one of the best universities in the world. I could see myself fulfilling a career in chemistry, but at the same time, when I was 13, my parents got me a camcorder for Christmas, and I just mess around with it. And I'm very lucky that when I got here, that there was an opportunity for me to use the experience I gained from making these little films and chemistry at the same time. He and his colleagues have a very modest goal a fuel for our cars from water and sunlight. Basically, a green replacement for crude. Dave is researching materials which allow water to be broken down into its component parts, which can then be newly composed to make a solar fuel. But what on earth is a solar fuel? So we start off with water, that's H2O, it looks like that. We take some carbon dioxide, it looks something like this, it's CO2, and we take sunlight, and a catalyst, and we convert these chemicals into something more useful. So we can take, for example, water and form hydrogen, which we can use to power hydrogen fuel cells and hydrogen transport. We can take CO2 and form um, carbon monoxide, and we form oxygen, which is fine. I breathe it all the time, and nothing's gone wrong so far. And we can take hydrogen and carbon monoxide and we can combine them together to make fuels that are like petrol that you put in your car right now using sunlight. One of the big problems for me personally is uh, the patience. It can take a, a very long time of uh, research and um, mistakes and things going wrong before you really begin to uh, get a good, good system. I can definitely compare that to making a film because there are a lot of mistakes that I've made and there are a lot of problems with <laughs> the work I'm doing. But hopefully in the end I can uh, pull everything together and fingers crossed it will look okay. Clicking the shutter 2,000 times for one minute of video. That really sounds like fun and games. And the fun continues for Dave in the lab with hours of waiting for the test results. It takes considerable patience, especially when the tiresome molecules keep on behaving differently from what you would really like. But quitting is out of the question. I think the motivation for the group as a whole is just how, how practical our research could one day be. Uh, so we're looking at stuff that, although unlikely, could one day be used on a, on a large scale to produce renewable fuel, and that's a very good motivation for a chemist to come into work every day. Oh, no. oh, I don't think he could drive. <laughs>